We are on the record in the matter of People versus Scott Lee Peterson. Tonight, convicted murderer Scott Peterson is back in court. He's fighting for a new trial in the killings of his wife and unborn child more than 20 years ago. The L.A. Innocence Project taking up his case, arguing new evidence shows Peterson was not behind the killings. The L.A. Innocence Project certainly brings a fair amount of credibility to Scott Peterson, which wouldn't have existed prior. When they do take on a case, they tend to do it if they think there is a real possibility that they could be successful. Peterson appearing virtually from prison for the procedural hearing on sealing the names of some witnesses. Last month, his lawyers arguing evidence previously overlooked be made available. They say it should have been presented to Peterson's original defense team. Mr. Peterson has been waiting 20 years to find some of these police reports and audio recordings and video recordings that should have been provided. Peterson was convicted in the 2002 murders of his wife, Lacey Peterson, and their unborn child. Now, Peterson is serving a life sentence without parole. This after his original death sentence was overturned by California's Supreme Court. Absolutely, Your Honor. Thank you. But the LA Innocence Project now says that overlooked evidence may show Lacey's killers were burglars who had broken into a house across the street. They also want to do new testing on a burned out orange van containing a bloody mattress that they say may have Lacey's DNA on it. It was reportedly found in Modesto the morning after Lacey vanished. John Bueller, a former police detective who led the original investigation, says he didn't know about the mattress, but is skeptical it's related to the murders. I guess there's a possibility but I think it's kind of like the possibility of the sun rising in the in the West tomorrow. I, I just really don't think it, it's there. Peterson now facing an uphill battle to earn a new trial as questions remain over whether new evidence will be enough to set him free. The likelihood is very small that Scott Peterson will be granted a new trial out of this. The bar is extremely high. It's not just if there was evidence that was excluded from the trial. It's if that evidence, when discovered, would likely return a different verdict. Adrian joins us tonight from L.A. So, Adrian, I want to make it clear to our viewers, this case is being taken up by the L.A. Innocence Project, but not the National Innocence Project, correct? Correct, Tom. This is a separate non-profit, profit, excuse me, similar name, just add L.A. in front of Innocence Project. Many of our viewers are familiar with the National Innocence Project, which has overturned hundreds of convictions, Tom. And then, and Adrian, you mentioned the potential new DNA evidence that would be so critical to retrying this case. When will we know if that will be admitted? Well, we know there is a hearing scheduled for the end of next month. It's expected to last an entire day. That's when the court will examine this DNA evidence and talk about DNA testing. Peterson and his defense attorneys are hopeful that evidence will lead to a new trial. Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.